All right, today we're going to be doing another M12 comparison. If you're interested in getting into a lot more detail about the Gen 2 versus Gen 3 and some of the other, you know, battery comparisons, see some of the links above. I go into a lot more detail on those videos in regard to the max power, what's the best M12 battery. You know, we do some comparisons between these Gen 2 versus Gen 3 as well. Today we're going to focus on the M12 fuel screwdriver and the M12 Hex Impact Gen 3. This is the M12 fuel screwdriver and this is model 2402 and this is rated at 325 inch pounds of torque. This is the M12 Hex Impact Gen 3 and this is model 3453 and this is rated at 1500 inch pounds of torque. In regard to the visual differences, as you can see there, the impact is quite a bit shorter than what the screwdriver is. They both have a light in the front. That's three lights and that's just a single light over there. They both have a couple speeds. So on the screwdriver, you have a two speed selector up there. You have another dial here for the screw mode versus you know, the drill mode. And you also have an adjustment there for your torque. You have a similar setup over here where you have the three speeds and you also have a drill mode. In our demo, we're gonna start out with some GRK R4 construction screws. Then we'll bump it up to some of the structural screws. Then we'll also get into some of these wood bits. My goal here today is to compare these two drills here with the 6.0 fully charged battery and to kind of see where they stack up to each other. So without further ado, let's get to it. So what are my final thoughts here? As you saw there in the demo, when we were using some of the R4 construction screws, these were very similar. There wasn't really a clear winner. When we bumped it up to some of the structural screws, when we used this first smaller three inch screw here, the screwdriver appeared to do it a little bit quicker. However, we bumped it up to the larger four inch screw. Our screwdriver over here was not able to do it on speed two. However, we put it down to speed one and was able to easily do it. Over here, the hex impact, it didn't have any problems with that. When we bumped it up to some of the wood bits, the half inch, it was very similar, you know, results on both of them. When we got into the three quarter, you know, again on speed two, the screwdriver wasn't able to do it. Put it over to speed one, it was able to easily do it. Over here on the impact, it didn't have any problems with it. So I think it really just depends on what you're trying to do. You know, obviously there's a time and place for all these drills. So, you know, if you're looking for anything with some general construction, you know, you might be putting smaller furniture together, pocket hole screws, etc. there. This screwdriver over here is a great all around tool. You know, I think that would satisfy a lot of DIY jobs that you have at your house. However, you start getting into larger leg screws, you know, larger construction screws. This guy over here is probably gonna be the one you're gonna wanna pick because obviously, you know, it's got quite a bit more power. With that said, there are some negatives to this as well. If you're not familiar with a lot of the impacts, obviously they are louder. It's an impact mechanism in there and that's what's you know, causing all that noise because it's generating more power versus the drill. So, you know, when I look at these two here, you know, there's a number of times when I might be doing a project and my dog might be next to me and I'll be working for a couple hours, putting the hundreds of screws in something with this, my dog will be right there. However, I get this guy out over here, he'll hear the first screw go in, he'll go upstairs because he doesn't want anything to do with it. So there's a time and place for these, you know, depending on your surroundings. So that's something you really need to keep in mind as well. And really the last thing I would say about this, that really why a lot of people use these impacts, obviously they're more powerful, but it's very easy to kind of judge, you know, the depth and you kind of feather it in versus these drills. A lot of times it's kind of an all or nothing where it's going to continually keep driving it. Obviously you can adjust your torque there, but if you're doing multiple different sizes, screws, different types of material, you know, you don't want to sit here and keep updating the torque to go, you know, a specific torque on one bolt versus the other. First over here, you're very easily able to do that with your hand as far as just backing off the trigger because it's kind of a varial speed. Obviously you do have the speeds up here, but a lot of times for at least the projects I do, I just keep in speed three and I'll just manually back it off with my hand. It's a lot easier for me to just do that than always up here messing with the speed. But, you know, again, there's a time for place to that as well. So, uh, you know, again, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these options up here. It's just a matter of what you're trying to do there on your specific project. You know, I think you would be very happy regardless of which one you choose up here. 
So hopefully this helped you out here today. If it did, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, please hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out and thanks for watching.